What's up, you guys? This is your boy Shane, SRK, or Thrifted IL here. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good one. And today, we have yet another box. So today, we're opening up a new mystery box from a new person. Shout out to everybody who's been sending me these mystery boxes or letting me buy them from you. I appreciate that. I'll show you a little love on the camera on Instagram and YouTube. So big love to you guys. Thank you so much. This one comes from Thrift Filet. I'll put his thing on the screen right here so big love to him for sending me this box i spent 110 dollars on this mystery box so we're gonna find out what is in here before we do that make sure you follow me on twitch it's not that hard twitch.tv forward slash s double r double k that's me that's where we do some gaming content we do some reselling content on there as well so make sure you follow me there and then you're gonna follow me on instagram of course which you probably already should but thrifted il is my instagram with that out of the way Let's just open the box. Woo! Okay, so we got an NBA shirt. Looks like. This is Nike team. Tag is missing on it. It is a Nike Lakers basketball shirt with the check in the middle right there. On the front, it just says Lakers basketball. On the back, we do have the Los Angeles Lakers right there. There's your Nike tag. Not sure what size this is. Next shirt we have here is a large. It's on Gildan. And it is a signed shirt. It's a basketball shirt. It is a Kansas barnstorming tour. I'm assuming this is the um, Kansas Jayhawks. It does have some signatures on there. I'm trying to see if I can see who these players are. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but on the back here, I tried to match them up. I am not even going to try. Back of the shirt does have some records here. So some 2002, 2003, and 2005. It is signed by a couple people. I didn't know who it is. I know on a 2005 team that was um, Mario Chalmers, I believe. Next shirt we have here is on Haynes, the XL. This is an Olympic shirt of sorts, it looks like. Olympic aid. Maybe a General Mills shirt that they gave away, seems like. 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. So a lot of different signatures on here. I'm not entirely sure who is who. Okay, so we got a double-sided t-shirt. It's a pocket t-shirt. Seen some better days. It's kind of thrash, which is kind of cool. On the front, we do have the Smoker Special, the Winston right there. And then on the back, we do have a big hit of an eagle saying the spirit of freedom. Don't understand. I guess cigarettes are super American, but you'll never catch me smoking it, baby. Next shirt we have is a, another Hanes t-shirt, and we're international today. Although, this is very strange. So this is a TGI Friday shirt, Paris, but it has an American flag on it. Is that not weird to anybody? Or am I, am I just tripping? Oh, oh yeah. Love to see it. Mess with me and you get the whole trailer park. We got some white trash. White trash, look at them, bro. They look fucked up. Fucking cousins and shit. Dude, I don't know if I like that. Oh, this looks like a banger. What we got? We got an Anita Power T. It's a size medium. It's an all over print. This one's crazy. Woo. We got a Ski Purgatory Colorado tourist t shirt, it looks like. Super cool. It's got some yellowing, so this will definitely need a bath. But as you can see, that graphic on the front, very good very cool next shirt we have is a disney shirt made in usa made in good old america duck shirt mr donald duck tall duck and handsome so pretty cool shirt pretty older if you ask me i don't even know how old this is but it does have an older disney tag right there you know i'm still pissed at donald duck for being trash in kingdom hearts i'm just letting y'all know He's dog shit. So this one, we got a medium made in USA Anvil. And we got a Taurus t-shirt. It's got some, got some age to it. 92 St. Augustine, Florida with the fucking gator on there. Look at that. He's just chilling, having a ball, having a blast. All right, we got an Onita Power T 50 Plus on here made in USA. And this is a Boeing Independence Day. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but... It's got a guy with the parachute, July 1st, 1995. There you go. We got some crazy graphics going on here for these next couple ones. This one's on the Haynes Beefy Tee. It is dated 1994, and it is a tennis t-shirt. The Avert Cup by Elise. Elise was a bigger sportswear brand back in the day. Um, I think they're still doing stuff, actually. Um, not a lot of people know about them. But I think I've seen it in, in quite a few stores, actually, which is interesting that it's coming back at this point in time. But Fila's come back, Champions come back, so I'm not surprised. We got another Hanes t-shirt right here. This one is a horse racing t-shirt. Captain Kondo 
was a racehorse, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it does say 1992 Long Acres Park, which is a racehorsing track. I mean, I guess he looked like a superhero, but, but that's pretty cool right there. It's got an artist tag from 1992 as well. All white t-shirt right there. Pretty cool. We got a, another Hanes t-shirt. We got a military style t-shirt today. We got the Flying Fortress, the B-17. So this one we got on a sneakers tag made in USA. It's a size large. It is a paper thin t-shirt. And we do have something called Members Vision. It looks like it was some sort of um, thespian style uh, group, I imagine. So this one is very interesting. Best United Garment, Garmin Company, not Garment, Garmin Company. So it looks like they missed a T on the top of there. That embroidery is trash. Look at that. Y'all like that? Y'all like trash embroidery? What we got here? We got a Screen Stars Best, made in USA. It is a Boy Scouts t-shirt, looks like. So this might be a troop from Minnesota, I imagine, because of the Minnesota right there, but they went to Washington to go canoe, I guess. All right, so we got a Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt made in USA. On the front, we got some Hard Rock Maui. So we got a Hawaii one right there. And then on the back, we got some surfboards, of course, typical, it's Hawaii. So this one, we got a, an MCA, size large. It does have an 84 tag on there. So this is an Olympic shirt, games of the, the, oh God, bro, I can't even read that. I guess this is when they started counting them, I guess, I don't know. But this is the LA84 t-shirt, and this is the rowing side of things. So this is an older t-shirt, it's super paper thin, super see-through. You can see right through this, pretty cool. Love the graphic on there. Super cool to see kind of uh, the graphic design of this era as well. And finally, last but not least, we do have our final shirt. And it is crazy. So this shirt is like an all over print. It's kind of crazy. I'm trying to find where this starts at. I have no idea what this is. This is a crazy all over print t-shirt. It does not have a size on here, but look at them patterns, man. These patterns are incredible. So this is made out of a weird material. It feels like someone made this out of a bed sheet and it honestly might've been a pillow that got turned into a shirt. That's kind of sick, honestly. I, I enjoy this, this is awesome. So we got about 20 t-shirts there. That makes it about $5.50 a t-shirt, which is pretty much thrift price around here. Sometimes it could be a little bit more expensive, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in as always. It's been your boy Shane or SRK or Thrifted IL. If you're interested in anything that you saw today, please DM me and I'll get it out to you ASAP Rocky. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.